Welcome back. So today I'm doing a tutorial on this look here. In this video I really just focus on the eyes and the lips because the face makeup was in that video that everyone requested this look on which is the contour video. Uh, how to contour for beginners video. So if you guys want to see the face makeup just head on over to that video and check out the face makeup. But yeah I just focused on the eyes and the lips. I pretty much kept everything the same. I didn't really change anything except for the mascara that was the only thing that I changed. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you do be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. Turn on your notifications so you won't miss another upload from me. And I think that is about it. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see how I got this look here, then just keep watching. Thanks, guys. Let's begin now. Alright, so I'm starting out with my brows already done and I already have my eyelids concealed. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm using the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. You guys know I love this. I always use this. So I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. And once I have my eyelids prime, I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow palette here. I have all of my shadows in the Sephora palette. So let me know if you guys want to know like what shadows are in here. Maybe I can do a video on it or something. But I'm going to go in with this Colored Rain eyeshadow in Gingerbread. You guys already know I use this eyeshadow as my transitional color all the time. Like literally every look I do, I'm using this eyeshadow. So... I just love it. It's the perfect transitional shade for like my skin tone. So I just always apply it before I apply any other shadow because it works. Alright, so next I am applying this eyeshadow from Morphe. It's in the shade Spice. And it's just like a burnt orange type of shade. It's actually very, very pigmented. So I have to like be very careful because it'll just take over the eye look so you kind of have to like work in slow motions and blend this in as you guys can see that i'm doing here and dusting it off the brush once you apply it because like i said it's super pigmented so you can see how i just am working in slow motion and like just starting in the outer v and making my way into the crease because it would take over the eye look it's that pigmented those more all of my morphe shadows are like that but this one in particular is like super pigmented so i'm just going to use this as my crease color today and this eye look is very very messy so as you guys can see i'm kind of like just flaking it out side the eye like it's no like precise look to it it's just getting all over the place because that's what i was going for Alright, so now I'm going to take this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Elixir. And it's just like a really nice orange shade. So what I did first was pat this shade on the eyelid. And just went ahead and pat it on the area that I left blank. And then once I got it on to my liking, I went ahead and I took that same blending brush that I used with the color Spice. And then I blended the shade I added a little bit to the brush but for the most part I kind of just took what was already on my eyelid and just blended it up into my crease and it just kind of made the whole look just look like one just the same eye look as you guys can see like I just I'm just blending it all together pretty much and I pretty much just go back and forth in between patting that shadow on the lid and then blending it out until I get it to my liking. Alright, here I decided to go ahead and do my face makeup. Like I said in the beginning, you can head on over to that video, the highlights and contour for beginners video. It'll be linked somewhere above my head and watch my face makeup if you guys would like to see that. But moving on back to the eyeshadow, I'm going to take the shades. Uh, spice again and I'm gonna apply that to the lower lash line and just to kind of just make everything look together it wasn't really like a smoky look or anything like that like I said it's super messy and I just was going for like a messy eye look 
And of course, don't be like me and poke yourself in the eye and have eyeshadow all in your eye while you're trying to do your little lash line. Right, and then taking that shade Elixir and going on top of the shade Spice. For lashes, I'm going to go in with the Cream Shop Eyelashes in the shade 805. I always say shade, but it's not shade in style, 805. And then for mascara, I'm just using the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I love the way this makes my lower lashes look. So that is why I decided, I literally just dropped this mascara, sorry guys. But that is why I decided to go in with this one versus the mascara that I used that day. And plus I couldn't remember what mascara I used that day. But it really doesn't matter. I just like the way this one looks, makes my eyelashes look. So I went ahead and I applied this one. Moving on to lips. I am using this ColourPop lipstick. It's one of their ultra matte lips and they say mini size one that I got in one of the Christmas sets. And it's in the shade Love Bug. I'm pretty sure this one is still on its on ColourPop's website. I don't think it was like limited edition for Christmas or anything. So I'm pretty sure this one is still on the website. But yeah, that's the lipstick that I used. And then of course I forgot to add my inner coat tear duct highlight so I added the eyeshadow Jinx I think so Junix Junix or Jinx or something in that nature and I'm just gonna pop that right in the inner tear duct and that is it guys that is the completed look it's that simple <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this look if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to like share subscribe turn on your notifications all of that good stuff I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys